Hello everyone. Welcome to Stump Kitchen. I have the weirdest task and the best task for us to do today together. We're gonna wear one of my arms from Unlimited. <laughs> We're gonna wear one of my arms from Unlimited tomorrow to practice for my true limb because in my latest meeting with the team and my latest fitting, I think we found the one, this is the one for me. There's just a couple small adjustments to be made on the socket and then they're gonna send me, they're gonna send me my true limb like right away. Anyway, let me, let me back up a little bit. So basically they, they sent a bunch of sockets. I tried them on, we made some adjustments and they'd send me some new sockets and et cetera like that. That's kind of how the whole process has been going and it's been awesome. And this one, because it's so close to being the final fit, the final socket, I have to do what they call a 20 minute wear test. So that means wearing the socket, it's, it's not on properly right now, wearing the socket with the one and a half pound weight so it can kind of be similar to the weight of the true limb when i get it i have to wear it for 20 minutes and do my daily routine go about my daily activities and then see if there's any pinching or muscle fatigue and just just see how how we do so i thought it'd be fun to take you along with me on the journey especially because i have a bunch of cleaning to do and ali and joven are out for a ski so let's do this so to put it on, I already have the weight on it. And just like all my other testing, trial socket testing videos, I'm gonna slip on the arm. And I'm just gonna like, like have it kneeling against the table so I have a bit of resistance to like really get my stump in there. And line up this front panel with my little elbow crease here. Pop the sockets in. So there's two sockets you just pop in and then twist to tighten. I kind of go back and forth just to get like a nice even tighten. Okay, I think I'm ready for the day. Let's go set a timer for 20 minutes together. The 20 minutes starts now. I'm just gonna do regular things. So uh, come along with me. Let's start cleaning the house and who knows what else we're gonna get up to. Okay, I just wanted to check in. We're about, I don't know, four or five minutes in. And so far so good. It, it's like, it's heavy and it's tight and weird, but not in a bad way. Like it's, it just feels like something that I'm gonna have to get used to. Like, um, kind of like working out, like you work up your way, you work up your muscle strength to do a certain exercise. I feel like over time, I'm just gonna have to, yeah, like just kind of get stronger, get more used to this. Cause it's like weird, but good. And also it reminds me of when I was, younger wearing prosthetics so it's like oh yeah it's coming back to me and obviously i'm not going to be having a prosthetic with this big ball like thing on the end like it's going to be a hand that moves um so i'll actually be able to like hold on to things uh so that'll be fun but anyway at the five minute check-in i'm doing pretty good i'd say So it's the 10 minute check-in. Things are good, arms not falling off. Still feels tight, but not bad tight. Like it's just, I don't know, I got used to it maybe. But it's really in there. It feels secure. Like it's not gonna go flying off, which is really exciting. So yay, okay, we'll see you. We'll do another five minute check-in. See you in five.
Okay, oops, that section was a lot longer than five minutes, but whatever. I only have one minute left on the timer, but I still wanna do some cleaning. So, uh, quick update. Things are feeling good. I am starting to get like a little bit of muscle fatigue just around my the end end of my stump a little bit but shoulders not bad elbows feeling good so yeah that's i think that's pretty good for 19 minutes let's do a little bit more cleaning a little bit more straighten up this is really helpful i should do 20 minute cleanups all the time and it's been really cool because in some cases i've been able to use the length to help me so like i opened the what's it called compost outside using this extended arm. I use it on the dishwasher. That was pretty cool. So I'm already starting to get a sense of like, just even how some added length to my arm. Cause like it's about half the length of an average arm. Cause like what's normal, right? I'm normal for me, yeah. Anyway, it's just neat to have that extra length to see kind of what it does and what it feels like. So uh, let's do a bit more tidying. Let's do the living room and then we'll check in after the final few minutes are done. The time is officially over. I'm out of breath because cleaning, you know. Let's go upstairs and have the big reveal. Let's take off this arm and see how it feels. Okay, that was really fun. It was about 25 minutes, so I know I'm a bit of an overachiever. Anyway, let's take this off. See how my stump fared. <gasps> Look at those. You can kind of see the marks of where it was. I would say like, yeah, there's marks all the way around, which makes sense, but none of them are really like harder or worse than the others. Like there was a nice kind of even compression, which is kind of what you need when you're wearing a prosthetic arm. Feels really good to take off, but it was also like really cool to have on. Like it felt secure, it felt fun. It felt like my arms were like of an even weight. Sometimes when I was wearing it, I kind of forgot I had it on. I just, I felt like I was carrying a bag or something in this arm and I didn't feel like the blood flow was getting cut off or anything. So that's good. I can see how you would need to practice because my limb, my stump is quite tired, but not in a bad way, if that makes any sense. Like I think taking it off at 25 minutes was perfect. I think had I worn it any longer, I'm looking forward to starting in small bursts and kind of building up my stamina and building up my muscle and capacity to wear my true limb. I think I did pretty good for my 20 minute wear test. One thing you're supposed to test for like skin breakdown. I don't think I have any skin breakdown. Like it's a little bit harder, like in here it was a bit harder, but not too bad. We're gonna get conditioned. It's gonna be great. And also like, I'm not gonna pressure myself to wear my arm more than I'm able to. Like I think I don't have to like be a hero and wear it all the time. I can just wear it when I need to or wear it when I'm not feeling muscularly tired. That's a really good way to approach it. And also just knowing that it'll take time to build up my capacity and strength for it, I think is, is good to keep in mind. They, the team said, it's like, it's like getting a new pair of shoes. You know, you wanna not go on a hike the first day you get a new pair of shoes, you gotta wear them in. So they, you know, can get used to the form of your feet and your body can adapt to them and you can wear them in. And so the same thing goes for getting an arm. So I'm gonna wear it like a new pair of shoes and try little things. And I can't wait to show you what I can do with it and just take you along my journey in my like, you know, in my first time I wear it to, you know, the first time I try, I don't know, whatever you wanna see. Thanks for being here so far on the journey. It's been really awesome having folks, uh, you know, be along with me. Keep the questions coming. Uh, about any part of the process because I'm only just beginning. Like I haven't even gotten my arm yet. Stay tuned and let me know what you want to see. And uh, yeah, if you haven't already, I'd love it if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, that would be so great. And you can also support me on Patreon if you want to. And a huge and big and gigantic thank you. And so much love to all of my patrons, past, present, and future. You help me do the work that, I, that I'm able to do. So thank you so, so much. We'll see you next time on Stump Kitchen. Bye. It's adjusting my toque here. There we go. I love doing this on vacuums. It's so much fun when you get to step on the cord thing and it goes in. <laughs> Bonk.
bonk, bonk. And now I should get these like tattooed into my arm. Like, look at that. Zwee, zwee, zwee. Yeah, we'll see you next time. We'll see you on next. Wow, you'd think I'd never done this before. <laughs>
Okay, cool. So, oh yeah. So the the journey's kind of just begun. Yeah, I know. Hey, it feels like we've been on our own big big journey, and now there's like, it's like, oh yeah, right. Now you get the arm, and you get to do stuff with it. So it's yeah. exciting. Well, thank you for everything. I'm sure we'll talk again, but it's been so fun and such a yeah. great experience to to go along with you. So thank you. It's been awesome. Absolutely. What, what, what activity are you most excited about doing with the true love? <clears throat> I think like there's probably more exciting things, but the most mundane things that I'm excited about doing are holding a book with my true limb and yeah. like flipping pages, but you know, like sometimes this arm will get tired or just like not being able to like hold a book properly when I'm reading a, in a chair in bed. So holding, just holding a book. Oh, I can't wait to like just drink a cup of coffee. Like to be able to hold a cup of coffee in my true limb and to drink from it and to have this, my right hand free to do other things. Like yep. what? <laughs> Um, I even hear a lot of people say like to, to hold their cell phone in the true limb and then that frees up their other hand. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So just simple things that you wouldn't really think are that big, but they are very impactful. So. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And plus I can't wait to play with, to play with Joven and just to like show Joven the arm and to like just see their reaction and just be like, what? Yeah, I, I think uh, in your first episode, if I remember correctly, you said you wanted to pick your nose. Or something. Oh, that is absolutely number one. For <laughs> sure. Yes. Yes. Absolutely well, number I, one. I, I can tell you that Trulim is definitely the most high tech nose picker on the market. Amazing. So, <laughs> so what's the next step? So the next step is that we're going to start the production of your, your arm and okay. all the, the, the CAD uh, designers and all the engineers will get together and they'll uh, make your, your arm and then they'll go into the production cycle. Okay. And then once that's done, we'll ship it out and you'll start training your shroom. Wow. That's so yeah. cool. Do you have any questions for me? No, I think I, I think I got it. I think I'm good. I don't have any other questions. Yeah. Well, it was awesome going on this journey with you. I, I uh, like watching all the videos. Thanks. Um, yeah. It kind of gives a good perspective. Like as a CP, I know I fit uh, people with little differences, but I don't really know like their life <laughs> and, and how they live with their limb difference. So it's, it's very cool for me to see that. Awesome. Yeah, so, this yeah. has been such a great, great time. You've been so fun to work with and I'm sure we'll we'll talk again. So thank you. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And keep on doing what you're doing with Self Kitchen. You're you're inspiring a lot of people. Thank you. So, thank you yeah. so much, Will. Yay. So, all right, Alexis. Take care. Thank you. Bye bye. Stump Kitchen. Stump Kitchen. Gluten free, vegan eats, stumptastic treats.